Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we are Cimarron and Logan dealers and I've got a brand new Logan sitting here right behind me. We also have a huge selection of used, used trailers that we either took in and trade or bought outright. So if you're looking for a used trailer, check out our inventory. We've got a lot here in stock. Right behind me, this is a 2022 three horse gooseneck bullseye. Logan's bullseye model is their mid-tier model. So they've got their crossfires, their bullseyes, and then, then their riots. So their bullseyes are what we really like to carry here in stock. We find that they have a lot of really great features that are improved upon by the crossfire with still having some abilities to do some different options. So let's go ahead and take a tour of this one. We can talk about some of the things that you might see on other bullseyes. So the first thing you're gonna notice is all of this black rhino lighting type material on this trailer. This is actually their vortex lighting. So the Logans are a galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting. And galvanized steel is not like black steel. They actually have a lifetime limited warranty against any structural corrosion offered for the first owner because you're not going to have the rust issues that you do on black steel. They actually infuse it with zinc during the build process so galvanized steel doesn't doesn't have those rusting abilities and it also makes it stronger. So you've got your galvanized steel frame but then we lightened it up with the aluminum sheeting. So these trailers are kind of a hybrid. They've that aluminum skin gives them the the lightness and lots of options for colors but you get the structural strength of the galvanized steel so really cool little option there you've got your spare tire underneath the nose here it's the same one that's that's running on the ground there and you'll see those those numbers there at the very top that's actually a, a date code so logan's nice enough if they've got it flipped on the other side they write what what the production date code is for the tires so that we know this Tire was produced in the 21st week of 2021. If any of them are flipped the other way, I'll show you guys what they look like when they're stamped on the tires. This is a single leg jack. You can always upgrade to a hydraulic jack if you want. Um, it's something we can do at our shop or we can always option them with them on there. So as we work our way into the tack room here, this is a really easy trailer to get around. You're not very long on the floor. You're 15 feet, seven inches on the floor and only 23 inches, or 23 feet, nine inches tip to tail. Standard height, standard width, so you're seven tall and six, nine wide. So really easy to maneuver. If you're just getting into horses and you're wanting something that's super simple and easy to get around, this is a really great option for you. The trailheads in Colorado are pretty small as well as the gas stations sometimes. It's really nice to get a trailer that's really easy to get in and out of places. So the short wall for this trailer is two feet and four inches, but you still have quite a bit of room because of that slant wall. So this allows us to have a swing out saddle rack. It's got three tiers since it's a three horse, but you'll see you've got an extra option there if you decide you need another saddle holder. We've got them. We usually try and keep them in stock, but if not, we can always order one four tier blanket bar on the door. It does unclip, swing out, so it's really easy to load your blankets on there. And then you've got a brush box right here for all your grab and go items. Just everything that's kind of option standard for these trailers. So, some upgrades you'll see over our Crossfire models. One of the first things you'll see is actually that you've got a nice framed in door. So they do framed in doors and drop downs on these bullseyes. And I think that that is a really, really great option. All right, so in the trailer here, you've got an LED light. And you've got two windows on either side of the gooseneck nose. So if you wanted to throw a bread, bed roll up in here and get some nice airflow going through, take a nap at a show, or if you've had a long trail ride and you don't quite feel like driving home yet, you'll see more vortex lining in here. So anywhere you see the galvanized steel, you're definitely going to see the vortex lining. They also line it for their kick walls and everything like that too. So keeps it really nice and clean. If you throw boxes or anything up against this wall here, 
um, it'll keep it nice and clean. You won't have all those scratches that you see on a lot of trailers. Bridle hooks up above, carpeting behind. Your horses don't have to listen to your bits. Swing back and forth and whack this wall. And then in this corner here, you've got a 35 gallon water tank. We try and option all of our bullseyes with that 35 gallon water tank because Logan has a really specific style that fits really well on their trailers. So if you never use it, it's one thing, but it's nice to have as an option. You'll see another LED light right above the door there. So you've got plenty of light if you need to use this trailer at night. They're also on individual switches. So you've got your master switch right here that shuts both of them off, but you can also shut them on and off individually. Alrighty, so as we work our way around here, I talked about the aluminum sheets a little bit earlier and the different colors we can get them in. Uh, white is not your only option. And on these bullseyes, you have the ability to do a lot of different colors without an upcharge. So I know that a lot of people really like our silvers, our stone mats. We can do black. We can make these trailers look really sharp without adding a lot to what it costs. We got corrugated side sheets here, just really dresses it up, gives it a nice clean appearance. And then you've got bus windows on the hip side. So these are good, decent sized bus windows. They're not the super tiny ones that you saw in the old trailers. They will let in a lot of ventilation, get all that air circulating through there so your horses stay nice and cool. You got exterior lights on all three sides of the trailer so that if you're tacking up at night, you can see what you're doing. And then underneath the running gear on this trailer, we have our two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles. So plenty of axle underneath this trailer. 16 inch wheels with upgraded aluminum, or 16 inch tires with upgraded aluminum wheels. So one of our options here is the steel wheels are standard, but we can always upgrade to these aluminum for a little bit more. Just gives it a really nice, clean, sharp appearance. And over time it will age a lot better and it will keep your trailer looking nice and new. As you'll see, those little green caps there indicate that these tires are nitrogen filled. So in Colorado, where we deal with a lot of fluctuations with the weather, it's really nice to have a tire that is not gonna see those big swings in PSI due to having really cold mornings followed by hot afternoons. If you ever have to and you need to fill up with regular air, it's completely fine. You'll just lose some of those benefits of the nitrogen. All right, so your horse area back here, you've got two double doors that can swing nice and wide open. So if you've got somebody that's maybe a little hesitant to load, it's gonna make it a lot more comfortable for them. They don't have to go through one skinny little entrance. Horses don't really like being led into caves. So on this here, you've got two partial dividers. This is a three horse. They're padded. This last one is actually telescoping. So if you ever need to run with this trailer, dividers open. You can just push this in right here. You pull this little lever here and they all clip back to one another. So it makes it really easy if you've got to move some furniture or maybe a mare and pole, something like that. They're nice and clipped back. They're not going to be causing any, any issues while you're traveling. The best place for them to ride is always in their holder. They're heavy duty extruded aluminum dividers. So the, the more that we can keep that weight nice and, and balanced, the less hard it's going to be on your hinges. Three LED lights as well in the stalls. Same thing, they're on individual switches as well as a master switch on the back. And then you have little rings on each of these uh, stalls here so that if you need to tie a or do corner feed bags, you can do those triangle feed bags. You can also hang hay nets on these as well. Roof fence over each stall. They're two-way roof fence, so you can push them either direction to either suck air in or suck air out. Underneath these rubber mats, you've got wood floors, but they're not your standard wood floors. They're coated in that vortex lining, especially in a place like Colorado where we're pretty dry. These wood floors will probably last you longer than you would even need this trailer. So it's really really good option if you want the the fancier floors that Logan has, they have an aluminum deck that's coated in Vortex with that sure grip flooring on it that drains out. That is always an option. You can check our, our incoming inventory and see how far out things are. 
because we can always add it. So really cool little option there as well. So as we work our way around to this side here, another load light on the exterior so that you can tie your horses up at night on this side as well, see what's going on. I mentioned earlier, they've got the big drop down windows. These are framed in, they're not your camper style set it in set windows that have those hinges that you always worry about if a lead rope gets caught under, it's, it's gonna rip that whole thing off. So these are nice heavy duty windows. As you can see, they're suctioned there, there to the, to the door. So if you want, you can run with them down, clip them into place. And then you've got these screens here so you don't have to worry about rocks and bugs flying into your horse's face. The jail bar does clap, so if you've got feed bags right there, you just throw feed right in. Makes it really, really easy. So I know everybody loves these drop-down windows. I'm a pretty big fan of them myself. One of the things a lot of people really like about them is this handle to open. You're not having to reach up and try and disengage a latch. It just pulls straight down really easy to operate so this trailer is currently sold but we do have more coming in if you want one just like it maybe you need one with a slightly bigger tack room we've got a ton of them on order and the cool thing is on a lot of these trailers if you give us a little bit of heads up we can make a lot of the changes to them to make them exactly how you want our bullseyes offer us a lot of options without going into the custom price range. So if you've got standard size horses and you need a great runaround trailer, these are a really good option. So if you want to check this one out, you can always reference it on our website. It's 5N211893. We can look for one that's a duplicate of it or a twin. Or if you need a four horse in this setup, that's also an option as well. So contact me. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970. 309-6368. Love to help you guys with the purchase of your next trailer. Any questions, be more than happy to answer them. So thanks everybody for tuning in today. Have a great day.